Jesus explains the fires of purification. You choose, here on earth or in the beyond. Jesus says, No one can plumb the depths of my mercy and predict who will be detained in the purifying fires and who will not. This is one reason why my Father is taking so long to give the word for the rapture to begin. I do not want to see any of my brides excluded from the wedding feast because they were detained for purification. Yes, there will be some who will, but the ones who are willing to suffer and work hard on their faults, they will come with me to the wedding banquet. This is another reason why I told the parable of the wedding feast and the man improperly dressed. His sin had worn his clothing treadbare, filthy and unfit for a celebration. He had a long habit of not repenting, and therefore he was unfit for the feast. He was saved, though, by his confession of me as his savior. But the others came to me each day and wept over their sins, begging me to deliver them and doing many acts of reparation, not only for their sins, but for the sins of others. You ask, what is reparation? It is the soul who sees the evil that is done in the world and is struck to the core by insults against me, abortions, dishonest governments, and all manner of unrighteousness. And there are those who are so united with me, when I grieve, they grieve. And in this way, they are repairing the damage of those who sinned against me. And that brings me comfort. There is no pat answer as to whether or not you will need purifying. But if you love me with all your heart, your mind and your strength, and love your brother as yourself, you have very little to worry about. Rather, you will constantly be aware of temptations, faults and lapses, and you will repent immediately. Remember, my heart is a heart of mercy, and I see every teardrop you cry over others and cry over your sins. And though you are weak, I am full of mercy for you because of the way you have been merciful to others. Purify yourselves, my brides, especially in this hour from sloth, which hurts the entire body and deprives them of the nourishment you could have given if only you had tried a little harder. This was Jesus' message through Sister Claire from May 20th, 2019.